I'm PJ Williams. Um, I'm a descendant of the Ngambri Ngunnawal um, Wadjuri tribe, um, traditional owners of um, Canberra here through my father's side. Um, my father's Arnold um, Douglas Williams. Um, he was born in Cowra, New South Wales. Um, his parents were uh, Pearl Simpson and Harry Williams from Cowra. Um, so my father um, had the opportunity to come to Canberra when he was young um, to look for jobs and opportunities because um, since being born and raised on the mission it was hard to get jobs and it was controlled by the you know the Aboriginal Welfare Board or by the government so opportunities had to sort of come out to Canberra um, and he come back to Canberra to he come back to his grandfather's country as well to do a bit of work. So I remember um, my dad taking me to London Bridge that's just outside Queanbeyan, uh, probably about 10 minute drive near Gugong Dam. Um, so it's a rock shelter um, with an arc, it uh, sort of looked like a bridge um, with a bit of a creek running underneath. He said he had, um, this is a special place for him when he was a kid because his grandfather, I mean his father bring him there. He said to me that his grandfather saw, seen a hairy man there. Um, Back in, back in, I think it was the early 1930s or something like that, and he was being attacked. Um, so that that sort of place represents him, because um, he's, you know, his grandfather was there, also there when he was a kid. Now I take my kids out there, and I really sit wet down with them. It's really quiet, and you can hear the, um, you know, the river flowing through. It's really nice and beautiful, really calm and relaxing for me. And I, now I realise now why my father went there, because he just felt relaxed and he didn't really need to talk about things. That things just like spirits was there, and it sort of just, you know, made him feel better. But the most important thing he said to me that we used to do a lot of trading with the South Coast people. Um, through, you know, they used to bring fish or seashells up this way and we used to do swap, you know, um, possum skins or, or, or bogle moths and stuff like that as well. Tinby Miller means a lot to me as well. I take my kids out there now and then. Um, I took them out to look at the rock paintings out that way. Um, they were very, very um, happy and they asked me a lot of questions on how they did that and how they get the, you know, the colours into the rocks. And I said they used different, um, different kind of ochre of rocks and they used to crush it up and put a water in it and that's how they make the colours. Um, so they wanted to try that when they got home. So we went down to the local quarry, just grabbed some bit of shavings and rocks and they sort of, um, did their own little paintings on um, on paper and that so and that's where little things like that they're getting passed down with traditional drawings and traditional paintings and stuff like that. Yeah the clapsticks, beautiful clapsticks here um, these were made by my grandfather Douglas Williams um, and these have been passed down to my father he's um, a great musician um, and I'm sort of now I've got that, I love to play the guitar and I want to pass this on to my son, Thomas. So these clapsticks mean a lot to me and my family um, and I'll be in my family for generations and generations to come.